Hey everybody, welcome back. Today, we are looking at some entitled people getting exactly what they deserve. Instant karma. Bam, bam, bam. One star. If you want to hear someone's life story instead of actually receiving assistance, this is the place for you. Otherwise, I would recommend anywhere else. The service is horrible. They think you owe it to them to spend your money there. Response from the owner. I'm sorry you were disappointed with your visit to our store. I'm the person who asked you if you needed assistance in the lawn and garden aisle. I'm the person who carried a bag of fertilizer to the register for you. Even though I had already told you that I would help you out, you ordered another worker to carry out part of your purchase. The other worker, not wanting you to think he was unwilling to help you, felt he should explain to you that he has a weight limit for lifting due to a chemo port in his chest. That's when you told him that you didn't care about his freaking cancer. Seeing your young children exposed to your ensuing profanity laced verbal tirade, <laughs> wow, that was a nice sentence, was shocking to all who witnessed it. I'm sorry if you were having a bad day, but your disregard for other people as well as your own children was truly appalling. What you thought? Some woman flipped me off and honked in the McDonald's drive-thru because I was taking too long to order. So I paid for her food. Then when I got to the food window, I showed them both receipts and took her food. I paid for it. It's mine. Not today, Satan. Not today. I thought that you were going to be the bigger person, but I am thoroughly pleased with what you did instead. I'm here for being the bigger person. I'm also here for the pettiness. It was 1997 and I was outside McDonald's on Queen Street, age 15. An old lady barked, speak English, at a pair of young Korean men. And without missing a beat, one of them goes, oh, I want a nice cup of tea. Look at me. I'm English. I want a plain toast. I miss him every single day. I miss him and I've never even seen him before. <laughs> so I'm at the dollar store and this little kid <laughs> decided to throw a fit over these large candy bars and called his mother and I quote, a B word because she wouldn't get him this particular candy bar. I was waiting for her to slap the living crap out of him, but instead she literally gave in and said, I'll get you the big one when we get to the register. Well, I'll tell you now, I had no intentions of spending 24 bucks on candy bars, but the look on that little Hoops face as I walked out the door with all they had left was priceless. Best $24 I ever spent. <laughs> wow, that's a lot of chocolate. You should have like a nice little fondue night in his honor. I have two employees that usually leave work at 6 p.m. They are good, but I don't like that their commitment lasts only for work hours. What should I do as a CEO? You should copy and paste this complaint into a table in Microsoft Word, print it double-sided in landscape mode, fold it in half eight times, soak it in olive oil, and shove it up your Entitled bosses really are the worst. When they feel entitled to your time, yet pay you so little, so Blank said that you took some pills while he was there. Yeah, I took my epilepsy medication. I prefer to be conscious instead of on the floor. I don't appreciate you doing drugs in front of my child. <laughs> you know, medication is just a crutch. You need to show Blank that being well is just mind over matter. I don't think that's how it works, especially not with epilepsy, but go off, sis. Why are people so stupid? I paid extra for a window. A woman comes next to me and rudely tells me her kid wants the window, so I need to get up. If she'd been polite, I'd had given my seat, but she demanded it. Maybe the kid will learn some manners since mother obviously has none. I doubt it, but one can hope. Wishing and hoping and thinking and praying. My wife and I had to explain to the neighbor that our dog is part of our family and no, they can't just have him. Their kids wanted our dog, which was cute, until the mother also decided that she wanted our dog. And it was only fair that they got to have him on the weekends because we get to have him all week long. What the actual f <laughs> That's not how it works. You can't just, like, take a dog. We don't share custody of dogs because we are neighbors. Get your own dog. Damn. Imagine feeling entitled to another person's dog. Actual Family takes over kids' playground. The beach is right below them. <laughs> I like that they put little squirrel faces over their face. Or is that a panda? Is that a squirrel or a panda? Good question. <laughs> the comment says, just let your kids loose playing on the kids' playground. They will move. That is a great idea. Just, just, just be like, sweetie, sweetie, come here. I want you to go over on that playground and I want you to make as much noise as possible. It's what not to do Wednesday. 
A lady ordered a pizza and a Diet Coke. She looked very unhappy when the pizza delivery guy showed up because in her opinion, he looked tired and did not seem to exuberantly love his job the way she thought he should. Also, he only showed up with her pizza and not her Diet Coke, which she really, really wanted because she was thirsty. And since he did not show up with her fizzy drink, she decided that qualified as theft even though she only paid for the pizza. How do we know this? Because she called 911. Sai, please just don't. It's the first day of a new year and a new decade. Make better choices. Ugh. Ugh. Je téléphone à la police. I just recently started coming to this location for the cute goth girl who works here. Turns out she's a total female Pomeranian. Ignored me for an hour even though I was standing by the register the entire time. Right, cause that's not creepy. She blew off every attempt to try and get to know her about her personality and if she would like to be taken out on a date. I ended up having to buy something I didn't even want to get her to even have a conversation with me. And then I felt like I was being rushed out the door. I'm not surprised. Imagine some customer just like standing by the register for an hour, how creepy that is. She needs to work on being more attentive to people who are just trying to be nice to her and not just giving all of her attention to people buying something right then and there. Um, well, if you're not buying something, then technically you're soliciting. You're not a customer, especially if you're standing by the register for an hour. So weird, don't do that. I am so tired of men invading my space. I've asked him three times to stay in his lane. We haven't even departed yet. See, this is a, this is a tall people problem. I feel for this guy. But uh, at the same time, if you're tall, then you gotta think about buying a seat that's a little bit more expensive with a little more leg room. It's not really uh, up for debate. This lady using bread as knee pads while she looks at other bread. Oh my God, really, really? I cannot even, oh my God, look, it's squished. Ew. A middle-aged lady in the operating theater once told us at the last minute as she was being wheeled in that she's allergic to latex. Everyone freaks out. So much of the stuff we use in theater has latex in it. So we take her to the latex-free theater and do her surgery there. When she's in recovery and awake, I inquire as to what reaction she has to latex. She said, I don't really like the sound latex gloves make, dear. <gasps> I just turned around and walked out. You know, I've done a lot of these videos, but somehow I am still shocked. They still shock me. Is Hummel your birth name? Cause that is my son's birth name and you sure don't look like my son. I'm not your kid, <laughs> off. More than one person can have the same name. No, it's not her birth name, but why do you care? It is using my son's full name, that's why I care. WTF, so people can't have the same name now? I'm weak, oh my God. Better contact Facebook, someone's stealing your identity. Not when it is identity theft. You need to understand that you are using my friend's son's name because you better delete his name because I'm reporting you skanky. <laughs> Lady, I don't know you, your friend or her kid. We just happen to have the same name. Oy vey. Your language is disgusting at Philip DeFranco. My six year old heard you say, Frick, five times in 40 seconds. You are a respectable adult who youth look up to. I'm disgusted with you. My son wanted his hair cut like yours. I mean, my recommendation is your six-year-old probably shouldn't be watching my show in the first place. Yeah, I get this too. I don't get it as much because I don't really swear in videos as much anymore, but um, I once had a guy say that I should be cleaning up, you know, like the, the little sexual innuendos that I make because his child can't watch my videos. And I'm like, I, actually, I'm pretty sure that you have to be at least 12 to watch YouTube. And also it's not my responsibility to monitor your child's intake of social media. That's your job as a parent. Also, my demographic is like 25 to 35. Hi guys. I make content for you, not for kids. If kids enjoy it, then awesome. Just let me have my sexual jokes, damn it. It's all I have left. I can't even say f anymore. Free event, solar eclipse party. Most kids go back to school that day. Can it be done on the weekend? Did this lady just ask to reschedule the sun? <laughs> I think she did. I think that's a fair assumption. Graders ice cream, giving you what you need today. Um, hello, it's Ash Wednesday. Thousands of Cincinnati Catholics fast and certainly don't eat ice cream nor appreciate your ice cream ad on this particular day. Didn't realize Graders is anti-Catholic, but I'll remember that next time I'm buying ice cream. Like, are you serious? Like, really? 
Are you, are you being honest? Is that, are you just trolling? Please tell me this is a joke. A lovely walk with the little doggy this New Year's Day, early morning, crisp fresh air and turn a corner to the cheap, cloying scent of dryer sheets being vented outside. Please folks, just disgusting. Bad smells are pollution. Are you honestly complaining about the scent of someone doing their laundry? Just trying to be sure I'm understanding this correctly. You know, I think you might be right. I think that they just, I personally love the smell of dryer sheets. I think it's one of the best smells in the world. Clean sheets, fresh out of the dryer. Mm. Love that for me. There are definitely worse smells. Do you want me to show you? <laughs> Please do not sit, thanks. Oh, so funny. You're so funny. Those are some entitled people getting their instant karma. Don't forget to wipe your butt. I know you tend to forget those things and it's it's gross, all right? Like I said, there are worse smells than dryer sheets. So 